Hey guys, Knife Deck here. Today I'm going to do a review on the CRKT Desert Cruiser. Here's the box it comes in. Comes with uh, another clip because you can put it left or right handed, tip up or tip down. So it's nice. The knife came in this little plastic here. This is a little mini catalog. It's got some different CRKT knives in here. And here's the actual knife. Like I said, it comes with two clips. So you can put it tip tip up, tip down, or left left-handed you can also do left-handed tip up tip down too so you can see the little dots where you put the clip in the screws right there yep so that's pretty nice it comes right-handed tip down but I switched it to tip up just because I like that more it's more convenient so when you reach into your pocket, you can grab on like that instead of like this. So that's why I like tip up. And these handles are Zytel. And the clip is bead blasted. And so is the blade. The blade is HCR 14 MOV steel so just a little bit better than HCR 13 not much you probably really can't notice the difference it's this Heyman cruiser there and the model number is 7904 DIN the other model is partially serrated But I don't really like serrations as much as just regular, so. Um, these knives you can pick up for around $20, $25. I got this one on Amazon. So pretty budget friendly you don't need a lot of money to get it and it's a great knife for the price so you can see you can't use that as a lanyard because the blade comes down in there so there's no lanyard hole on this this knife is pretty big so it's a little bigger than what I'd normally use for EDC. I believe the handle alone is about four or five inches and the blades like four inches I believe and it's got the CRKT's lock system so when you do that when you push that up I don't know if the camera will focus here but uh, it's not going to show you. But when this is down, you can close it. But when you put it up, you can't bring the, the liner over because a little piece of metal comes down in that crack in there and it blocks the liner. Maybe it'll focus in now, I don't know. Yeah, it's not going to do it. But I don't think the liner would fail anyway. It's 
pretty thick liner. But if you're doing some heavy duty work with it, I guess it's kind of nice to have. Just a little jiffing right there. And when I got this, I kind of thought that this would get in the way of your thumb, but it doesn't. It's about the same height, so it just kind of adds on to the jiffing because it's jiffed too, as you can see. And then right, you can see the flipper has some jiffing. It's kind of nice to get a little better grip. You can see the flipper ends up right there and the jiffing is where your finger is. So that's nice. Pretty ergonomic. So if you're looking for a budget knife, that's maybe a little bigger than an EDC, use it for camping or something like that. You can use it for EDC, I did for a while. But if you're looking for a bigger knife and you're on a budget, I'd say this is the knife to get. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe.